We're ready to begin loading our trailers. First, select the trailer from the loading list. Next, hover the items in the staging list. And when you see the item to be loaded, left click it. It will become red or green whether or not it can be loaded. To move it, click and drag the loadable throughout the trailer. In the right-click menu, you'll see options to rotate and roll. Or you can use the quick keys W to roll it or Q to rotate the loadable end for end 90 degrees at a time. When the loadable displays red, it means it cannot be loaded because of an interference. When it turns green, it can be loaded in that position and there are no interferences. We can then move on to the next loadable. Remember, W rolls the loadable 90 degrees and Q rotates the loadable end for end 90 degrees at a time. A on the keyboard will auto place the loadable. Once we load the items, we can reposition them as necessary by selecting and then left clicking to drag them. We can also rotate in the loading view to make better fine-tune adjustments. We can also use the arrow keys on our keyboard to move the loadables a little bit at a time. You'll notice that as loadables are added to the trailer, the center of gravity is updated automatically on the fly as you're loading. The loading list will be updated with the loadables that you have placed onto a trailer. If you run out of loadables in the staging list, you can switch back to the staging view, adjust your filters, and add more loadables to the staging list to be added to a trailer. Back in the loading view, we can add another dunnage layer in order to stack items on top of the already existing steel on the trailer. To do so, we click Add Dunnage Zone, specify the height, and then we define the area. The area can be either the entire trailer or just a smaller area within there. We can continue loading the same way we did before, or we can also choose to auto place all items in the staging list. This works very well when the staging list is small, not an entire building. Once the items are placed, we can fine tune the placement of those if we see fit. Remember, we always have undo and redo options available.